Hi there, my name is Diana Morris from Educare Institute. Welcome again to our English lesson and today we are going to see the topic about Mdundiko's family routine. In this unit you will learn about the daily routines and obligations. Read the following story about Mdundiko family and after reading the story we will go there and see the question which will help us to remind what we just read about Mdundiko's family routine. We start by saying that Mdundiko has his wife, Mazoea. They are farmers. They have a big farm. I will repeat once again. Just listen carefully. Mdundiko and his wife, Mazoea, are farmers. They have a big farm. They have three children. One of their children is a girl and two are boys. All children study at Mwendapole Primary School. From Monday to Thursday, Mduniko works with his wife on the farm. After their work on the farm, they clean their house together their work on the farm, they clean their house together. Their children help them with some of the house chores every evening. As you can see in the picture here, we have been shown the Mdundiko. We have been shown Mdundiko and his wife while they were at the farm digging in the farm. We continue by saying that on Fridays, Mdundiko and his wife go to the market. He sells oranges and pears from their farm. Mazoya sells cabbages and spinach. Sometimes they visit their family friends on Saturdays. On Sunday, the family rests at home. As you can see in this topic about Mdundiko's family routine, we have been told on that on Monday up to Friday, Mdundiko and his wife go to the farm and do their work in their farm while their three children go to school. And we told that Mdundiko had three children. One of them was a girl and two were boys. And these children are studying at Mwendopole Primary School. And Mdundiko and his wife go to the farm from Monday to Thursday and on Friday Mdundiko goes to the market with his wife and at the market Mdundiko sells oranges with pears while his wife sells cabbages and spinach. Sometimes they visit their family friends on Saturday. Sometimes it's not usual that they always visit their family friends on Saturday. But it's sometimes they go. And on Sunday, I've been told that Mdundiko's family takes a rest at home. On that day, they are not doing any kind of work or they are not going to visit any family from their friends. After seeing the Mdundiko family routine, let us see an exercise which will mark the end of our lesson about Mdundiko family routine. The first question asks that. What three things does Mdundiko do during the week? Number two, what does the family do on Saturday, on Sunday? I'll repeat again, question number one. What three things does Mdundiko do during the weekend? During the week. Number two, what does the family do on Sundays? Question number three. At what school do the children study? Question number four. How does the family get money? Question number five. What do they do on Saturdays? And after looking at that excess of Mdundiko's family routine, the address I'm going to give you is that in order to answer all these five questions correctly, you are supposed to read the passage and understand it very well and that will help you to answer all these five questions correctly. After seeing the five questions from the story which you read about Mdundiko's family routine, let us see another exercise which says that, say 
what you usually do on the following days. You as a people who is watching now, you are supposed to say what you usually do on the following days. The first day is Monday. Second day is Tuesday. The third day is Wednesday. Fourth day, Thursday. Fifth day is Friday. Sixth day is Saturday and the seventh day is Sunday. So you are supposed to write or say what you do in these all seven days. After seeing all this exercise, this marks the end of our lesson for today. Thank you. See you again in the next lesson.